So first of all, I want to thank everybody for inviting me to talk about something a little bit different, um, something that I hold a great deal of passion in regards to, and something that I think we need to really significantly move forward for us to have a really good future for our um, community, something I feel very passionately about. So I'm hoping to share that passion. So what I'd like to do is begin with a very simple but profound question, and that is, what is NeoKids? So for over a year now, but historically a bit longer than that, I'm meeting with community groups, elected officials, healthcare partners, and I've also met with parents. And it's a question that often gets posed to me, in other words, what is new kids? Is it a program? Is it a physician group practice? Is it a building? The Northeastern Ontario Centre for Kids Health, also known as new kids, is all of these things, but it is much more. New Kids is a vision, a vision to improve children's health in northeastern Ontario. It's a vision that puts children and their families at the centre of the care that they receive. That vision also sees children being treated closer to home. Our reality today is that our kids do not have access to the same level of care as children in southern Ontario. I mean, the description of second-class citizens when it comes to health care has been used a lot for a lot of different programs in Sudbury and it would not be any different for Sudbury and the Northeast when it comes to pediatric health care either. What this means is that every year hundreds of kids and their families have to travel to Sick Kids in Toronto, the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario in Ottawa, or the Children's Hospital of Western Ontario in London to get the type of care they need to become healthy and as Dr. Steinmetz put, to be repaired. I see the impact this has on families day to day in my practice. It's stressful for the child, but also for the family and leads to tremendous emotional, physical and financial tolls and strains for not only the child, but the family as well. This is not the best system for children's health care in Northeastern Ontario. We know this. We have known for some time that sending patients out of town is not the best for them and it's not the best for our community. 30 years ago, my, many people in this room, including myself, lived through this. If you had cancer in Northern Ontario, and I'm talking about as an adult now, you did not have access to the same care that you would get in Southern Ontario closer to home. You had to travel down there in order to get chemotherapy, radiation therapy, follow-up appointments, and other specialized treatments. This meant a lot of trips, thousands of dollars spent, and disruption to life and family at a very vulnerable time. Guided by a vision of better and more accessible care, our community rallied to create the Northeastern Center for Northeast Cancer Center to ensure our cancer patients could get the care they needed close to home. This same vision led to other important health care developments here in Sudbury and for the Northeast, such as the establishment of the Northern Ontario School of Medicine and HSN's research institute, AMRIC. And I might add at the same time that these initiatives often happen during very financially dire times or during times where it did not seem at the moment be the right thing to do. About 10 years ago, Cypress pediatricians, including myself, came together to do a needs assessment and vision exercise on children's health care in this community. And what we've learned and found very quickly, and to this day continue to understand, is that children are not as healthy as we may believe. Rates of allergies, asthma, obesity, and cancer are higher in Sudbury than other parts of Ontario. Behavioural and mental health issues are also above the provincial and national averages. We also found out that there is a profound lack of health care services for children in our community. And the services that they did have, and we do have, were a little bit spread across the city. We realised that if we were going to improve uh, the services and system of care for children, we need to work more closely together as a pediatric group. We also need to work in partnership with the hospital. So in 2009, this is what we did. We moved to this wonderfully beautiful building on Bancroft Drive in the middle of nowhere, basically. And we named it the most ridiculous name in the world, the Pediatric Center of Excellence, which none of us really enjoyed or liked. This one action, though, helped a great deal to reduce referral times for patients and better manage their lo our patient loads because we were able, to, for the first time, to act <coughs> collaboratively as pediatricians. It brought us together. Our increased collaboration with the hospital also allowed us to expand outpatient clinics for children and provide care to children in outreach to Manitoulin Island, the North Shore, and to the Lake. 
healthcare for kids looked took a uh, healthcare for kids took a significant leap forward. However, children's care still faced many barriers, and while we improved care, we were still not addressing many of the healthcare needs that we found in our children. This led us to the second phase of our improvement journey, and that was a move closer to Health Sciences North. Not only had we outgrown our office on Bancroft Drive, but it was not as child-centered as we wanted. Kids still needed to travel too often between our offices and Health Sciences North to access clinics, diagnostics, or other services. So in 2014, actually about a year ago now, we moved our clinics right over here to Health Sciences North and called our new approach to care NeoKids. Our new location meant that almost all of Children's Health Care Service in Sudbury were now situated at NeoKids and at Health Sciences North. We were able to expand clinics and to attract pediatric specialties such as our allergy clinic, and there are many more to come. We also expanded our relationship with the Aboriginal Health Organizations of Manitoulin Island and the North Shore, and this has been a very satisfying and mutually beneficial collaboration. The past 10 years has seen a dramatic improvement in care for children in Sudbury, better coordination, more clinics, better services. New Kids has improved care for children and their families. However, demand for children's health service in our community and across the Northeast continues to grow. This graphic really adequately demonstrates, I think, very well how much we've grown. In the past five years, pediatric outpatient visits have increased from 20,000 per year to 35,000 today. Over the next 10 years, this demand is expected to increase upwards of 40%. This graph really shows really well each individual clinic and how they're projected to increase over the next number of years. For example, the Botox clinic, which looks after children not with beauty and vanity issues, it's actually spasticity and cerebral palsy, is going to increase unfortunately by 44% just about. ADHD clinics 20%, FASD, which stands for fetal alcohol spectrum disorder, by about 21-22%, and oncology, uh, unfortunately, about 12.5%. This could mean more children could be traveling to Toronto, Ottawa, or London for care if we cannot meet their needs locally. Healthcare in Sudbury, even the North, has never been child-centered. While we've been able to make some kid-friendly spaces at Health Sciences North, the hospital is not and was not designed with the children in mind. Too often, children wait, receive treatment, and in some circumstances even recover in the same room alongside adults. You can imagine a cold white going off in the emergency department, how traumatic that would be to not only the child, but the family involved. It happens. At the same time, New Kids has outgrown its current space. That's the outpatient services that are supplied in the South Tower of this building. With only three clinic rooms and no space for multidisciplinary meetings to host management sessions, New Kids is bursting at the seams. For procedures that require sedation, recovery time, or more intensive nursing and monitoring, we have to use the space in our inpatient pediatric area, which impacts on our inpatient beds. Finally, although as pediatricians we've recently moved into a brand new office space that we're quite pleased and happy with, we're quickly outgrowing that space. Dr. Bordon mentioned we do have a new recruit in pediatrics, but with six, we're going to be basically landlocked and not necessarily able to expand beyond that meaning that we're going to have a hard time recruiting and retaining pediatricians in the future. To address these issues, we plan to build a new standalone facility of its kind at Health Sciences North dedicated specifically to children's care. It will be the first and only of its kind in northeastern Ontario, in northern Ontario for that matter. The facility will allow us to expand our current services. In doing so, we'll be able to reduce much of the travel for children and their families. It will house more treatment and procedure rooms, a medical day area, a space for our patient mental health clinics. This new facility will also have a dedicated space for pediatric oncology so our young cancer patients can be treated in a setting conducive to the recovery. It will also have dedicated medical diagnostics on site so that kids can, can get x-rays, ultrasound, and all other imaging in one visit. But more importantly, it will be delivered by practitioners who are pediatric and family-centered. The same issue will be true for lab services. In other words, trying to make scary things less scary. The building will also have many support services such as a parent resource room, family meeting rooms, a full-size gym, a child advocacy centre, a Ronald McDonald room or rooms so that parents from out of town will be able to stay overnight at a low cost in a child and family centre and focused way uh, if it is necessary to do so. When complete, this building will ensure that more kids get the care they need closer to home in an environment suited to them and 
with the most and with the utmost standard of care and practice of evidence-based medicine behind it. It will benefit our community as well. Healthier children mean healthier adults. I think Dr. Steinmetz spoke very well and eloquently to that fact. Something that sometimes gets left in the back of the, uh, everybody's mindset. This leads to future adults who are less reliant on our healthcare system, something that's clearly a problem today. New kids will attract new pediatricians to Sudbury. We currently have six pediatricians, and according to the ministry, we should have eight. And I think the view and vision going forward is to have even more than that, who might even be able to provide subspecialized care, something that's not been ever seen in our city and in our region since uh, the dawning of pediatric health care in this area. Beyond that, we'd also be able to provide more specialized care and not necessarily all related to having physicians. This also speaks to the specialized services that a lot of our ancillary health care providers provide, physiotherapists, occupational therapists, speech and language pathologists, a skill set that's very exclusive and takes expertise and a critical mass to develop and to foster. But it's not just doctors that will be drawn here. We have heard from large employees in town that other things that professionals look for when they come to town is in fact whether or not a community can support the health care needs of their families. Without it, Sudbury economic development suffers as we are not able to attract some of the best and brightest minds to our community. New kids will help address this need and make Sudbury an even better destination to relocate a family. In all, new kids will advance children's health care in Northern Ontario. It is important for all of us to understand that new kids is more than just a building. New kids is about creating a centre of excellence for children in the North and providing evidence-based and up-to-date standard of care. New kids will be an important beacon to remind us all that children's health matters and that we must continue to strive, to strive in all ways to ensure that we are constantly improving health care to our most vulnerable of patients. I'm going to close now by asking another question. I started with a question that said, what is new kids? I'm now going to ask the question, why new kids? And the easiest answer for me to give is, why not? But over the last little while, some developments have really made me reflect on what it is and what it means to have this type of facility here in our region. And I think after a couple of glasses of wine, I came to a conclusion last week. It really, I think, speaks to a system of care. So the way things have progressed in pediatrics historically in the city and across the Northeast, pediatric health care has been driven by individuals. An individual to do a certain clinic, an individual to have a certain passion or vision, an individual to help foster inpatient or patient care. But what we've not had is a system of care. And a system of care is sustainable. A system of care is something that goes on well past the people in this room or myself and long after I'm gone. You look back at the 30 years of the cancer center, very similar infrastructure. No system of care, no real provision. System of care in place, and now it's been growing and developing well beyond our dreams. And I think that is really what I see as the important part of why New Kids needs to exist. Haven't spoken of it until tonight. I really wanted to relay it at the conclusion of my talk this evening. I think as a community, as healthcare providers, this is our task and we need to do this because children deserve nothing less. And I thank you for your time.